Hi everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started using TrackAttack, the best GPS lap, GPS based lap timer, HD video recorder, and sharing platform for motorsports available for iOS, Android, and Windows phones. In this demo, I'm going to primarily use an Android device, but the steps are really similar for when you're using with an iOS or Windows phone. The first step here is to download TrackAttack on your app store. I already have it open here, so you can see. Uh, the easiest way to get to it is to type in TrackAttack app and look for the Rhino. So once you have it downloaded, go ahead and open. And you'll notice that it's a free download to try out, and then you have the option to upgrade after a trial period. I've already purchased the, the app um, through my account, so that's why you don't see the trial period, but you'll see uh, indicators here showing how many trial uh, sessions you have to be able to record. You have three to record across uh, each one of the session types. When you first launch the app, you're able to immediately start using uh, the app to record sessions, um, but creating new racetracks and uploading session videos are not available in, until you create an account or log in with your credentials. Logging in is pretty straightforward, uh, where you, you can create an account through uh, Facebook login or fill out the profile requirements. This is a drive screen where you can launch a new session. TrackAttack supports all motorsports types, whether it's lap-based, point-to-point, -point, or just canning, canning carving. When you select the session type, TrackAttack uses your current location to find racetracks within a two-mile radius. And what it'll look for is both official racetracks and user-created racetracks. Now I'm at home here, so as you can see, there isn't any official racetracks, but we have a bunch of uh, user-based racetracks that we've created over the past several months. After, the, after you find the racetrack that you want, you go ahead and select it. And then uh, track attack is uh, GPS is initiating, and you'll want to wait until the GPS accuracy falls below 10 meters um, and stabilizes before you go ahead and hit start. You go ahead and hit start uh, if you're out there driving, and then track attack will immediately detect the uh, start finish line as soon as you cross it and start your lap timing and video recording at the same time. This is the history page where you're going to see all of your sessions after you recorded them. You'll be able to go back and look at your lap times, um, session times, and all your video. This is the upload screen where you'll be able to see the, the upload status of each one of your videos. After you record a session, all of your GPS data gets uploaded to your account if you're already logged in. And then when you get home and connect to Wi-Fi, you're able to upload your uh, session videos so you're able to view and share them online. This is the profile screen where once you're logged in, you'll be able to see and edit the limited uh, profile information about yourself and your car. And in the settings screen, uh, there's a variety of settings here where you can change. So you can change the units of measurement between metric and imperial. You can change the video recording quality from uh, 480p, 720p to 1080p. One thing to note is that as you increase the video quality, the size of the videos on your memory will uh, become pretty significant. A, 30 minute session on 1080p typically takes about uh, three and a half gigabytes of memory. This is the cache tracks functionality where uh, you're able to download all of the, the track database. It's a very small file for the 500 plus racetracks that we have, and you're able to uh, download it so that in case you go somewhere where you have no uh, data connection, you're still able to use track attack across all the tracks around the world. This is the auto start trigger where um, you can designate a certain speed for track attack to immediately start recording uh, once you hit the speed. So instead of having to hit start or stop, you hit uh, you set a, a certain figure. So if you select your racetrack and say your the figure that you select is 25 miles per hour, as soon as track attack detects that you've gone 25 miles per hour or whatever value do you designate, it will immediately start recording. And then lastly, here's where you can go ahead and, and upgrade. As you can see, I've already purchased the upgrades, uh, but this is where you can upgrade to Track Attack Lap Timer, which is uh, about $5 in the US. It might vary in uh, local currencies, and that is for all the functionality, but uh, not including recording video, and Track Attack Pro, which has all the functionality for uh, Track Attack and all the functionality moving forward. Check out our other how-to videos on Track Attack on our website under the app page. And uh, or the YouTube channel, just search for Track Attack app and look for the Rhino. Thanks.